Hello friends! When it comes to sketchbooks, there's a lot of pressure nowadays, especially in the social media era. There's a feeling of not being able to keep up with the high standards and, at the same time, being free to experiment. I want to share with you my solution to that. A year ago, I started two different sketchbooks, an ugly sketchbook and a beautiful one. To me, they're both beautiful, but in different ways. I usually don't show my ugly sketches on social media, I feel this sketchbook is my safe place. But since I finish it, I feel more confident and I'd like other artists to feel the same with their ugly drawings. I hope this ugly sketchbook tour will inspire you and make you feel less lonely and disappointed in your artistic journey. So let's get started. I usually put stickers on the cover because I feel this inspires me to draw even more and I bought them from different artists such as Sibeline and this one is from Asia Ladovska and this one is from Iraville. Uh, this other one is from a Harry Potter collection that I don't remember <laughs> very well but overall I love the cover to be very colorful and to motivate me to draw and to create. This is one of my recent drawings and I didn't want to lose it so I decided to attach it with a bit of paper tape but uh, the very first drawings were these ones and this in particular are some figure drawings. Uh, I, um, I did this following the Cosmic Spectrum videos on YouTube. Uh, if you don't know her, you should follow her because she gives a lot of tips on figure drawings and uh, her work is very inspirational in general. And I also used her technique to emphasize shadows with tombows. I had a few tombows, uh, these are like brush pens and I just uh, added a few shadows here and there. These are again figure drawings from her videos and I also took some notes here because she also explains how she draws the figures and she cleans shapes and overall it's very useful and I'm very into, I mean I was very into figure drawing in that period. Here there are also other figure drawings from her video and I really love this one in particular and the angular shapes, like it was a very fun exercise to do. Here I was doing some research for my first illustration for Amelia, that is uh, one of my characters. And uh, I was like, I was written some notes about the place I imagined and also the object and a lot of stuff I wanted to put in there. And if you see my finished illustration, you can like imagine what I was thinking here. This was my last sketch and then I put it on Photoshop and proceed with the drawing and the illustration in general. Here I wanted to do like an illustration about Conan. Uh, this is an old anime and I really loved it. And I wanted to draw like a scene from the film, but uh, I gave up in the end. Here I was doing again figure drawing. I think you're going to find a lot of figure drawing in my sketchbook. And um, this was from the videos of Mike Matesi. He was talking about the force line that conveys the movement. And it was really funny to apply this theory to the bodies and see how everything connects. Here again, movement in other parts of the body, like the hands and the arms and uh, it was also about shapes and how to avoid symmetry and here it was about the bean shape like um, this fury was about the upper part of the body and uh, they said that you can imagine it as a bean and it was very easy to draw like the movement and the tilt and overall I wanted to improve my poses and exaggerate it a bit and also um, like create more interesting shapes. So I wanted to practice that a lot. Here again, a lot of figure drawings. And here I followed some videos on YouTube. I think I'm going to link the videos in the description because uh, there is a YouTube channel with a lot of models who are posing for artists. And I think it's very useful because you also have a timer on the screen and you have to do this exercise in two minutes or five minutes or 20 minutes and so on. Even more figure drawings again from the same videos. 
here I was doing like, I think a class. Uh, I don't remember the name of the artist, but I was doing this online and it was about hatching at the beginning. Then more about hatching. In this case, it was about uh, defining the figure drawing with uh, the hatching. Like you can tell this is a person, but without an outline. Some tips about light and shadows. And again, anatomy, any particular proportion. And uh, again, the movement, how you can simplify it. And um, yeah, a lot of tips. This is about the center of gravity. And this is a thing that I actually apply at the moment because uh, in the beginning I didn't pay attention to this, but <laughs> now it's very important to me. And other things like, again, about anatomy. This was the class of Dibuyant and Nocturno you can find on Domestica. And I was taking some notes and doing like a bit of sketching and doodling. And I, I really loved like the part of um, the shapes and details. And I was really into this part of the class and I still apply it to my trees. And in general, I love his shapes and how he applies details and lines. I think it's very interesting. This, is, this was like uh, the final drawing, something like that. I think this was from the previous anatomy class, like I did it in two parts and uh, here was about these anchor points that can help you remember the various parts of the body, something like that, but I don't apply them to my actual drawings and other tips, uh, the turning arm, I didn't draw it so well, I think I was a bit lazy and I didn't want to draw it so many times. Again, other tips about different parts of the body. And here I started again in April with other figure drawings. Uh, these are like two minutes, something like that. And um, I really love this pose and I thought it could be like a mermaid because this was the time of the mermaid and I put it like uh, post it here because I wanted to remember the, the pose but in the end I don't think I I drew something like that. Here are the notes from the Tom Fox class on Domestica again and uh, I found this class very useful that year. This was about drawing people from imagination so uh, you have to know how people are made and how to simplify anatomy in order in order to draw them from imagination and other tips about faults, perspective and other things and this was like my final drawing that I drew from imagination and after a lot of figure drawings this was the first time I didn't have a photo as reference. More figure drawings and here I think I was following a video on YouTube, like a random video, but I stopped at the beginning and then nothing. <laughs> I didn't watch it again and I was letting this blank page because I thought in the future I could add the other notes and finish the video. <laughs> More figure drawings and finally Mermaid started. So I've written all the prompts and I pointed out the ones that I wanted to develop further. And here I drew from references, both illustration and photos. And I wanted to figure out like the shapes I wanted to use and the style. And here I came up with the first idea for the first illustration I made. Other doodles and figure drawings more figure drawings. And here I wanted to study different leaves because uh, I was doing the Skillshare class about negative painting. And I was thinking about doing this illustration here that is uh, like a house in the wood with a lot of uh, trees and leaves. And I wanted to do something particular and unique. But in the end, I uh, went with another idea. Again, figure drawings, and this is a particular technique 
I took from the artist Chris Hong, if I'm not wrong, and uh, she usually uses highlighters with pens and I wanted to try this technique on these figure drawings so I've used uh, the highlighter for like the bigger shapes and the general sketch and then I added details with the pens and I really love how the volumes are showing off <laughs> so this technique is really really interesting these are like more soft shapes more figure drawings, this time with pencils. And I love how the color pencils add like this smooth and also nostalgic feeling to them. More figure drawings, like I was really into figure drawings and I also tried different techniques. Like I was using this uh, marker or highlighter, <laughs> I don't remember. And uh, I wanted to draw without uh, a pencil sketch. Here I started an anatomy book because I really wanted to study in depth every part of the body. And I started with the ears and I drew them several times because I really wanted to nail them. And uh, as you can see, this was my final drawing without reference because I really wanted to simplify the shape and to learn it by memory. This is a study from Claire Wendling, our book, and uh, I really love her style and her fairies and that's it. I just wanted to do it and practice for myself. These graphite drawings are for a Romanian celebration called Sensiene, and these are particular fairies of the woods and I thought it would be nice to draw them for the June celebration. At that time I was really into fairies. And I put this blank paper on it because I don't want the graphite to transfer on the other page. Again more studies from the anatomy book. This was like uh, some notes from, I think, random videos and things I have seen. Anatomy studies. Here I started with Amelia, which is my character, as I said before, and I tried to imagine her at 10 years old. So I drew the face and uh, like I figure out the face feature. And here I was doing some research for another illustration. Um, I think you've seen this as my logo on Patreon and these are like some cherry fairies, something like that. Like they have these cherry blossoms on their head and they're very little. These are some notes from the La Poutine workshop I did in Monza last year. Here I was trying to figure out some ideas for my logo on Patreon again. Uh, then I think here started the October period with a lot of witches. These are two drawings that in the end became illustrations. This was for the Inktober, something like that. And this one is like a simple illustration with uh, the negative painting for the background. And she's Luna that now I'm drawing more often. She's the fairy with the pink hair. And yeah, these are the first sketches I did for a commission story. Like I had to figure out the characters and the props and so on. And I really love the little goat here. Again, figure drawings, they are all the year long. Here I did like some nice drawings. This is like the nicest page of this sketchbook and I think I've shared it on Patreon at that time. This was the drawing for a draw this in your style and this was some practice of the face in profile. Here are some sketches from the commission story I told you before. I had to figure out the composition of the illustration. This in particular is a simple illustration, it is only about these boots that are very important for the story. These are some random sketches, like this was from reference, <laughs> I don't know these ones. And this was a random face that I really loved, like the expression and uh, overall uh, 
I, I love this drawing in particular on this page. Here I did this face that eventually became a sort of illustration and it has like a very weird expression here. These are simple ribbons that I drew from reality. I was having like a ribbon in front of me and I studied it and drew it and uh, this helped me a lot to enrich my imagination. These are some random drawings from the Serpangur tutorials. A lot of doodles, figure drawings, more ribbons. Here I tried to simplify the ribbon after I drew it from the reality. Yeah, this is the drawing. Uh, like I imagined the house of Amelia and I had a really, really hard time imagining the house like from different perspectives. And uh, yeah, I don't like these drawings. I just wanted to to do something regarding her world, but uh, in that particular moment, I wasn't very inspired and I gave up. This is like a nice drawing that I did for a TikTok video, I think. Uh, it's like an exception <laughs> in this sketchbook. Here there are some pen drawings, like random things. And uh, here I was continuing with my anatomy studies from the book. more anatomy studies and this is the first concept for a beautiful Christmas drawing I did last year and I'm very proud of. Um, I think this expression is a bit different from the one of the finished drawing but um, I really love both of them. Some random witches, other random drawings. Uh, I really don't know what these drawings are about. I can't figure out. A finished drawing. This is like a reference study, so it was very easy to do because I didn't have to come up with ideas, but uh, I really love to combine again pen and this uh, fumble brush. These are some drawings from a comic I was reading during the August of 2022 other pen drawings. I think I was trying to study vintage objects. I can't remember what I was looking for actually. This is like a collage of the first sketches for Drawtober challenge and I really love keeping all the sketches of my illustrations because I think they convey all the emotion and the first idea it came to my mind and for me they are very important. These two drawings were for a commission. Here I attached again the sketches of the final illustration I did for Christmas and I really wanted to keep the final sketch because uh, I'm really attached to it. This is again a commission drawing and here are some random doodles, other random doodles. Uh, this was like a very nice drawing I did and I really liked the fairy but I never developed further the idea. Here I was trying to find some ideas for my second Skillshare class and this is indeed my final drawing for the class and this is uh, one of the characters I found in the other sketchbook I had and I wanted to study a bit the facial feature but I, I never ended this study. Here are the concepts of an illustration I wanted to do in the other sketchbook and uh, I was trying to figure out the style of the characters and the clothes. I did this page as a demo for my class because I wanted the students to see how I sketch things. Here I wanted to come up with uh, the color scheme for the final drawing of the class. And here I was uh, studying some concepts for another commission and uh, this was like one of the drawings that I proposed to the, um, to the person who commissioned me. Some sketches, uh, I think I was trying to figure out the character for my own draw this in your style and I had to decide between these two poses and I went with this one. Some figure drawings, but I felt very rusty with this one because uh, some months have passed uh, between the last figure drawing session and this one. 
So I did also some male figure drawings. This is one of my favorite ones, even if it's not so correct and perfect. Here I came up with an idea of a little flower fairy and I may develop it in the future. Other pen figure drawings. Other figure drawings again. Here I wanted to study different birds and also using a limited color pencils, in this case a gray and a bit of red and blue. And this was for the creative challenge on my Patreon. I'm very proud of this page. Here I studied a few flowers and then I combined flowers and birds. And this actually was the real challenge of my Patreon. So to create a character that combines the feature of flowers and birds. Here are some random faces. And here I was doing the thumbnails for the biggest project I did this year. And it's like a book project. And uh, it's, it's more like a storyboard, but not a real storyboard. So for each scene, I tried to come up with uh, like two or three thumbnails. And uh, in the end, I was asking my husband to help me decide which of the composition uh, was better. These are like my very first studies of the story and the book in general. Um, more studies for the book. And here I was studying a bit the characters. As you can see, there are two types of characters, a younger and an older one. And I had to, like, to study a bit of facial features in order to uh, give that sense of age. And that's it. This was my ugly sketchbook. And uh, it's not like a high quality sketchbook because this is from uh, Muji and I don't remember the price, but the paper is very thin and you can only use pencils and pens. You can't use watercolors on this one. I hope this sketchbook tour inspired you and made you feel like more confident about your art and drawings because every artist, even the most amazing, talented artist, does ugly sketches and drawings. So don't be afraid of uh, mistakes and don't be afraid of doing ugly things because you can choose to show or not show them to the world. It's your choice. But the most important thing is to find a safe place where you can explore your ideas and creativity. So thank you for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and like this video. And meanwhile, I hope you have a great weekend. See you in the next video. Bye.